Live match day sports. Click link in description box down below to watch full game sports. Thanks for watching and enjoy the game. You told me that before. Thank you very much. <laughs> you see, I told you this. Quiet, crowbait. I don't know why you're so scared to make him stop for you. That's the only way you're going to get a lift, and it's nigh on to 16 miles into town, if that's where you're going. You gotta stand your ground. You now, told me that now, beat it. Well, you go back to your chicken. Well, they don't need me. You're the most unsociable young fellow I ever seen. Reckon I wouldn't waste my time with you, except I got a son of my own. He's in the army now, and I miss him. The milk and time, I miss him a lot. But there's something familiar about you. Seems like I seen you somewhere before, but I can't seem to. You never you. saw me before in all your life. It's just that trace of the human race that makes us all look familiar to each other. <laughs> now go back to the barn. I ain't so sure about that. When I first seen you out here in the road, I said to myself, says I, if that young fella had on a uniform, I'd swear that... Here comes one. Watch me. I'll make him stop. You gotta stand your ground. You gotta stand your ground. That shows you had many. That goes double. Wrong signals or not enough ground? Say, me wants to ride you. Think I'm gonna stand out there and get run down so you can ride? Why well, knew a fella did a fool thing like yeah, that once? Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, why don't you try it yourself once? Can't do no harm. Well, maybe you got something there. Walking 16 miles can. You moron! What do you use for IQ? We might both have been killed. No, I think I'm all right, thank you. Mm. No bones broken. Don't worry, miss. He looks pretty lively to me, too. Why don't you move over and let the crow sit there? They got plenty of room. What were oh. you doing out here in the road, anyway? All right, I'm sorry. I should think you would be. Jumping in front of cars like a maniac. Only an imbecile would do a thing like that. <laughs> that does it. That really does it. Oh, no, you don't. You'll find everything in the back to change that tire. Aren't you going to help me fix it? I know speak English. I only operate from signals. Surely you don't expect me to change it. Why not? Your car, your tire, your gas, and you ride. Well, of all the nerve. Move over, brother. It ain't right, boy. It ain't right. You ought to help her. She's not in my department, farmer. I've met these overall jobs before. She takes over and leaves you flat. Well, if you're going to be like this, well, maybe I'll have to help her. Stay perched. I guess there just isn't a gentleman left in the world. Fortunately, I don't need any help. Does she mean us? Not me. I'm essential. Those bumper jacks are dynamite. They'll never stay. <laughs>
what you made me do. My best pair. It's all your fault. Your little filly, ain't you? Not bad. and relax. Still burned, huh? Plenty. Count ten. It helps. Now I fix the tire and you ride me into town. Right? Right. Can I help you? Yes. Go back and sit on the fence. Well, but I'm right handy around automobiles and things. Yes, sir, I'm right I know, handy. I know, I know. I don't doubt it. Don't want to help, huh? No. Nope. No. Nope. See, I wanted to help him and he wouldn't let me. He's a mental case. Sure wasn't a very nice thing he did to you, miss. At least I don't think it was. Whose side are you on? Wasn't it your idea that I risked my neck on the road? Sure. That's the only way you get a hitch to town. It's nicer out here in the country amongst the birds and the bees and chickens and such. What do you want to go back to town for anyways? For a long time, all I've dreamed about is going back home. Back home to town. That's why. I don't trust you. I wouldn't have a disposition like yours for nothing. Cause a lady all this trouble and then you don't trust her. Well, nice knowing you folks. Just ignore them, miss. Nice line for this job. I thought I was lucky to find it. Wish it was mine. Oh, this car doesn't belong to me. I took it. I'm a kleptomaniac with good taste. Ha <laughs> ha, don't give me that. You've got little Miss Idle Rich stamped all over you. You're wrong. I work for a living. Half what? Well, I'm... I'm sort of a chauffeur. Hmm. In uh, that uniform? My employers are very lenient. And uh, speaking of uniforms, how do you manage to stay out of one? Anything like that strictly between me and my uncle. You should say my uncle and me. It doesn't sound so selfish. He comes first. I'll say first, last, and always. Well, you're uh, out of gas. Oh, well, uh, didn't we pass the filling station about a half a mile back? Uh, so we did. Why, you... I know, you hate me. Very well. We'll both sit right here and dream together. I don't mind. No wonder the armed forces don't want you afraid of a little old hike like that. All right, Miss Smartset. What did you say your name is? I didn't. That's right, you didn't. <laughs> 